Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest pixel experience ROM and how is it working and what are the beautiful features that I have been enjoying on this ROM. So if you go into the Android version of course you see this is the Android 10 build of course and the security patch is of latest April 5th 2020 which is really interesting if you look at the device itself and this device is almost like two to three years old. So this is really good that the ROM development for this device is really good and we have the latest security patch. As you can see the stock kernel is the retarded UL kernel and the build date over here is the 7th April 2020 build. And talking about flashing this ROM let me tell you I have the latest Orange Fox recovery installed and with the latest Orange Fox recovery I flashed the ROM and reboot it and I just wiped cache Dalvik system data. So if you're flashing this ROM make sure your storage is decrypted. To do that you just need to format data from the like Orange Fox recovery itself and you just like wipe cache Dalvik system data if you're on a different custom ROM and then flash the pixel experience build and you don't even need any G apps because this ROM already includes G apps. This is the actually plus version of the pixel experience ROM. On this we have a little bit of customizations but first let me show you the like updater section as you can see we have a system updater and with this system updater whenever there is update you can just like use this updater. Redmi Note 5 Pro does not have encryption on my device so I can just update it with the system updater really quickly and if you enable developer options here you will see the advanced restart option so it is cool that the advanced reboot is actually present let me show you here as you can see we have the reboot to recovery and fast boot option so advanced reboot option is present in the developer options not inside these buttons and stuff so in terms of customizations inside gestures we have the system navigation gesture and here you can enable this like gestures over here you can even hide the pill if you would like as you can see right now the pill is hidden and you don't see that white or black pill over here so if you want to use the full real estate of the screen you can like hide that you can also use two or three button navigation from here now let me go back we have the swipe right screenshot and this let me show you is the asus kind of screenshot i guess as you can see we have the long screenshot option if you want that you can scroll it as you want that is really cool and in the buttons we have the edge long swipe action and stuff then power menu and here of course the advanced reboot is inside the developer options not here long press for torch is there let me show you if it actually works so as you can see long press for torch actually does work now let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed and as you can see it unlocked let's do it again and it unlocked so the fingerprint scanner speed is really fast and one more thing we have the face unlock over here which i will show you later on in the status bar section we have the network traffic indicator and stuff then the system icons are there and here you will find the headset bluetooth etc icons no vaulty icon though present over here and then am pm style you can change it however you want then the show seconds clock position you can choose it to center and stuff if you want to do that and enable the am pm style battery status style you can change it to icon portrait circle etc then we have the battery percentage position you can choose it next to the icon or inside the icon then we have auto brightness and this brightness control feature is really cool you can just swipe on the status bar of course to like adjust the brightness this feature i use on my daily basis and here we have quick pull down and stuff and then column and row number customizations are there styles option for the quick toggles is there the duration of the animation and then the interpolator of the animation in the display settings we have the dark theme i have been using the dark theme it has been working fine as you can see you can like schedule it if you want and then the night light option is there and it works fine no issues and let me show you we have the live display and color calibration you can control the rgb of the screen with this now let me scroll down we have the lock screen display of course there is no always on display because this is an ips display on the redmi note 5 pro so you don't really need it and double tap to wake and double tap to sleep as well is there and as you can see double tap to sleep is working now let me try the face unlock i have already registered my face I'm not touching the fingerprint scanner as you can see my five fingers over here now let me just double tap and it unlocked just look at the like unlocking speed it is even faster than my redmi k20 pro because the k20 pro has the pop-up camera it pops up so yeah i showed in like in this video and here as you can see it unlocks like flawlessly no issues whatsoever with the face unlock it unlocks like 100% of the time very convenient feature i would say and you can also disable this wake up on plug if you want now let me go to the battery settings and here is the like screen full usage or screen on time then if you want to see the full usage you have to tap over here 
and I would say in terms of battery life it should be pretty good I haven't tested with a sim card but yeah you can definitely get five plus hours of screen on time with this ROM now in terms of sound settings let me show you as you can see this is how it is and there is no e audio Dirac over here like the Redmi K20 Pro or something which has the Mi Audio Dirac in here in the sound settings but here the Mi Audio Dirac is simply not present but the good thing is you can disable the touch sound, screenshot sound and touch vibration etc from here so that's cool now let me move on to the security and of course we have the face unlock over here and let me show you actually the setup process over here or like if you want to set up a face unlock and here just notice how quick it is as you can see it already added my face so let's click done let's try the face unlock one more time and it unlocks so this is a really cool feature that the face unlock like unlocks the device very very fast and the stock camera let me show you this is the MIUI camera present by default over here that is really cool and we have the like in terms of video options and stuff let me show you we have the FHD 30 or 60 FPS full HD mode and then there is the 4k 30 fps mode so yeah that's kind of a limitation that we do not have 4k 60 fps because this is a like snapdragon 636 i guess so yeah you cannot really expect much things and uh, like taking normal pictures and stuff are like pretty fine you won't have like much problems with it it also shows this like watermark over here it shows redmi note 5 and like does not show redmi note 5 pro for some reason let me go back and in terms of the stock launcher we of course have the google pixel launcher and to the left we have the google now cards you can swipe up for the app drawers and stuff and let me show you the home screen settings here like you can disable the suggestions if you would like this is very minimalistic settings and of course you can swipe down anywhere to get the quick settings panel and here let me show you we have the heads up disabling options screencast option and hotspot and stuff you can enable dark theme from here that's cool and if you want to change the accent colors let me show you you can go styles and wallpapers then go to styles then from here add a custom like theme and choose icon then choose from these many icon colors like i mean accent colors so yeah this is like all the accent colors we have over here we don't have much customizations in terms of the accent colors of course but the good thing is we have the live wallpapers so inside this living universe we have all the live wallpapers over here okay so with this live wallpaper let me show you that the performance is not really taking a hit as you can see the ui stays very fast even with the live wallpapers and here you can just like do this for how many times you want and the ui stays very very smooth no issues whatsoever that i am noticing over here and everything is really smooth even with the live wallpapers so I don't have any complaints with the live wallpapers over here because the UI does not like go sluggish with applying any live wallpapers that I have been noticing and this is a really cool thing because Threadme Note 5 Pro does not really have a very powerful processor so yeah this is really cool optimization and here is the Android score on this ROM now let me talk about some more things like the safety net check as you can see the redmi note 5 pro safety net status fails so pretty much you cannot use google pay or something like right out of the box but you can flash magisk and use magisk hide if you want to use the like payment kind of things and with this rgb remote app i have tested the ir blaster present on top of the device and i would say the ir blaster has been working great with this like led rgb remote app so that's not a problem here and faulty calls and stuff should be working fine you won't have much problems with those but the google pay does not work right out of the box so you need to be careful about the banking apps the sound output via the headphone jack is really good and the charging is a little bit slower that i have been noticing so that is kind of a bummer but yeah this is a uh, like pretty cool stock android like rom with a little bit of features so i have been liking the pixel experience plus rom on the redmi note 5 pro and with the face unlock it makes a huge difference it makes the rom like kind of out of the world performance with the face unlock on this device so yeah that's pretty cool i would say thanks for watching guys give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is Tito from kerry and exciting off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye, -bye now